First, we want to start with that big one on one between Kyle Boshi and a business owner doubling down. The guy's customers complained about huge bills, even though the services were advertised for way less. And we're going to get right to Kyle because this story is really frustrating. Indeed it is. Our investigation found this company aggressively promoted its services to company customers in both Oregon and Washington. In fact, you may have seen their ads. They were sent to about 2 million households, according to court records. The ad promotes air duct cleaning, but many customers say they got more than they bargained for. Oh, she, she was shivering. As the temperature started to drop last fall, Sharon Berg figured it was time to tune up her furnace. I was so happy because the house had been so cold for so many weeks. Since I had no heat at all, I don't have anything else but a little space heater in the bathroom. She'd spotted a flyer in her mail for a special deal. And it was $99 for the furnace service and $39 for the duct cleaning. So she called the company, U.S. Air Ducts and Builders, expecting the promotional offer. I thought, well, that sounded really good. The day of the appointment, two men arrived. And went right to work, no mention of any extra charges at all before he started examining the furnace. Sharon figures they worked inside her home for about an hour. Then they tallied up the bill. And then he was charging 100 here and 50 here and, and all these other things. And I thought, what is this? The workers handed Sharon an invoice for $1,200. Remember, she'd planned on getting the promotional offer, the one in the ad. And then they were out of here just as soon as I signed it. And I, th I thought I just signed the work order saying the work was done. Upset and confused, Sharon called the company. U.S. Air Ducts and Builders agreed to cancel her five-year VIP membership but she was still on the hook for more than $500. I think they saw an old woman with glasses and a cane, and they think, oh boy, a sitting duck. Records show over the past two years, the Washington Attorney General's office has received 16 consumer complaints about U.S. air ducts and builders. Oregon's Attorney General got seven complaints about the company. As soon as they walked through the door, they were telling me that I needed more and that I got the bad coupon and I needed the better coupon and let me tell you what all we can do. Rihanna Blair says U.S. Air Ducts and Builders sent her to collections after she complained about an excessive bill and the company's high pressure sales tactics. And then he started inspecting things and came in and pushed me into this huge package, like $1,700. So who is behind this operation? Phone calls and emails to the company didn't provide any answers. So we visited U.S. Air Ducts and Builders in Vancouver, but their office was empty. Neighbors say they cleared out of the building in late January. Not here. According to a 2016 alert from the Better Business Bureau, the general manager of U.S. Air Ducts and Builders, Mr. David Moshe, is also associated with another company called Family Fresh Air. That company's registration was suspended by the Washington Department of Labor and Industries in 2015 for failing to pay a fine. Public records show Mr. Moshe is connected to at least three different companies involved in air duct cleaning. And we found him outside of yet another newly formed business in okay. Vancouver. Kyle Abosh with KGW Channel 8. Hi, how can I help you? We have some questions about uh, U.S. air ducts and builders. Okay, how, okay. how is that related to me? Uh, you're involved with the company. As much as I know, that company is closed. Moshe declined to answer questions uh, about why companies he's associated with seem to open, then close after a series of complaints. Tax. U.S. Airlines and Sky Builders, just like you mentioned, are not even open anymore. So but you were the general manager. I used to be when they were. You were now. responsible for overseeing staff when the company was open. Correct. So how do you respond to those complaints about aggressive Again, sales, marketing? The company doesn't exist anymore. I don't have to. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to respond to any of these complaints. Not really, I'm sorry. Moshe said his new business has nothing to do with air duct cleaning. Yeah, that's my company right here. And what, what do you do here? We just established we're a calling center. A calling center? Yeah, we just opened a company. But moments after Moshe pulled away, a work van drove into the parking lot advertising air duct cleaning, along with a phone number associated with one of his old businesses. At least two customers have sued U.S. Air Ducts and Builders seeking a refund. One settled out of court. The other is headed to trial in about a week or so. Wait a minute now. That Hold line, on. that that's yes. the beauty of it, Ooh. that was pretty telling. Yeah, not an excuse. I imagine being one of the people who, uh, you know, who he, I don't know, tried to rip off or something, and now they're hearing him talk like that. What's next for these people? What well, they're they fighting. A lot of them are fighting collections. You know, they disputed it. They were sent to collections, and now they're stuck dealing with collections for a bill that they feel is just feel outrageous so compared to what they expected. Yeah.
Terrible. Too bad. Thank you, Kyle. Well, if you have a story idea for Kyle to investigate, give him a call at 503-226-5041. Or you can email callkyle at kgw.com.